Alrighty guys, I figured we'd bring you something a little different. People kept asking about some of the uh, big trucks that we have at the recycling center. Um, and so I figured we'd start today with our container moving truck. This is a Navistar by International. This is a 1993. And uh, this truck no longer sees highway use. It was from a family hay farm purchased at an auction out of uh, North Carolina and then came up to us. Hmm. Don't know what uh, that was about. Huh. Um, moving on. Trucks uh, no longer for highway use. Um, it strictly just is uh, driven around the yard. We didn't have one for the longest to move containers, so we didn't move them. They just came in and wherever they placed them, that's where they went. But uh, got a good deal on this one from the auction. Too cheap to pass up. So Chris picked it up for us and here it is. As you can see the door and this whole side of the cab is crunched and uh, that's why it was taken off the road. Oh, we've got airlines hissing and alarms letting us know that the air just hit low temperature or low pressure so it'll have to be started up to build pressure again. So uh, I guess let's go ahead and do that. Like I said the truck it, it got mangled pretty good we didn't even fix the door latch on it yet but uh, because the truck won't ever see how we use again it's it's not a big deal so this truck is reading 193,000 miles and it has 7,338 idle hours on it and yeah older Panasonic radio has a Cobra CB radio which is not reading anything due to the lack of antenna. Which is probably what this. There we go, that's what that's for. And it made no difference. Hmm. Speaker might be shot in it. Oh well, enough play with that. Let's uh, go ahead and fire it up. So, uh, air brakes are on. We're locked in neutral. I wish it was a, an actual stick, but uh, you take what you get. I didn't buy it, so whatever. Key switch is down here. One click, two clicks, and your gauges cycle. And it's going to continue to beep even after we start the engine until our air pressure builds up out of the red. You see it's just barely in the red, so it won't take but a second. And you reach down here and you make sure your stop or clutch or clutch <laughs> your choke knob is in. And we're gonna let our foot on the brake. And one on the throttle. Away she goes. And just like that, we've built up air pressure. Turn signal stop over here. Wipers. steering's a little worn out. And you get your typical truck horn down here. And um, I've never actually pressed that, so I did not know if it still worked. And then of course, you've got the fun cord right here. So let's see. What? Eh, 
and then yep so we're gonna apply a little bit of air brake knock off our air parking brake try to mold shifter up into reverse and this is really hard to do with one hand this thing does not turn well the power steering is a little messed up really big pain to turn. And this door doesn't stay closed, so that makes it fun. If my grandfather were here, this is one of those times where he'd say, come on, turn it. Put some hair on your chest. And the power steering's trying to do something, it's just not doing as much as it should. Once you get it rolling though, it's no big deal. A little bumper back into neutral. And barely let off the brake just a hair. Pull our locks. Sounds good. pretty good we haven't had to do any real servicing to it since we bought it built up air pressure now now we're clear to hit the road if we needed to but uh, yeah so part one on uh, some of the heavy machinery that we have here and if you kill the switch nothing happens until you choke it down So, set this hood back down. Oh, come on. Ta da! It's in really rough condition but it's doing the job just fine. So thanks for watching guys. Hopefully this is interesting enough. We have a uh, cab over engine out there in the back field from uh, a company called Roebuck Builders. They dropped it off years ago for scrap. It's sitting down there. Complete trucks actually got lower miles than this on it. And if I get a chance to get down there, I will uh, film it. I think that is the one y'all actually requested the first time with the cab over engine. Then of course we got the new Sterling rollback because we got rid of our old uh, international one. And that one's got the Mercedes motor in it. Uh, but yeah, we just 
we use them for moving around all these containers and stuff and it works out well um, this truck is actually shorter than the truck that picks up our containers so it's a little bit of difficulty getting them swapped out but not a big deal I have to film that sometime when the guy comes to pick them up but anyway guys thanks for watching here's our uh, 1993 international semi I guess and uh we will catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Drop a comment down below. Let us know what you think. And I'm going to go put this back over there.